this is not a good angle. Hello friends, so today I am doing a writing vlog. I have never done one of these on my channel before but I absolutely love watching them and I thought why not write my own because I'm actually having a very productive day. Now for those who don't know, over the past year I have spent pretty much all of my time writing a feature length screenplay for my final project at uni. Now I have finished uni and I handed in the like the final submission was to hand in like the first draft. Um, well, there were many drafts included, but it's what would count as like a first draft if what has happened here? You can tell I'm having a writing day where my hair looks like this. What was I saying? Whilst I still want to work on my screenplay, I just need to distance myself from it for a while because obviously I have work I've been working continuously on it for about a year and I feel a bit burnt out on that project. So I whilst I do want to continue it, I'm going to push it to the side for now and I want the feeling of starting a new project and it being all really exciting. Today I have started working on a short film. I feel like writing a, a short film will be good at the moment to ease me back into it post-grad. I thought I would take you along my process of when I start out a new project and I hope you all enjoy. So this new project that I'm going to be working on, like I said, is going to be a short film and I'm thinking it's going to be a, between 15 between 10 to 15 minutes and it's going to focus on the anxiety of freshers week when you have social anxiety and you don't drink. Freshers week at university was not a fun time for me, I wish to never experience that ever again um, but hey trauma makes for good art so that's fun. One of my best friends the one thing we've bonded over actually is how traumatic Freshers Week was for both of us. Whilst we were friends in first year, we weren't friends in Freshers. And it was just so comforting to find out that there was someone else who was feeling the same way as me in Freshers Week. I did not enjoy it at all. I felt like there was such a pressure to be social, to go out drinking, to meet new people. like when in reality there was not that case at all. There were quite a few people who I met along the way who did not drink at uni, who didn't like going clubbing. And I think for me the fact was my location of uni. Um, I went to Falmouth University, which is by the seaside, and it's a lot more chill than to say if I was to go to a city uni. That's what this film is going to be inspired by, to show that there are other people like like me, and if anybody watching is also like that, it will just be a comforting fact to know that you're not alone and nobody is expecting you to drink when you go to university. So, enough being said, I am going to brainstorm some more ideas and then I think before I actually start writing the script I want to write a treatment and a beat sheet. So I have my notebook, Ooh. my notebook, this has basically my entire feature length script in here, all the ideas from the very first time I started brainstorming to pieces of dialogue to work out the finale. And then I also have Trusty Save the Cat by Blake Snyder. Um, if you go to film school and you're doing screenwriting, this book will be talked through and through. They will probably mention it every single class and I caved and I bought it and it's actually very helpful. So thank you, Mr. Snyder. And then I also have a laptop. Um, which of course I'm going to use to be writing on. This is what I mean by this being my <laughs> film notebook. There are post-it notes everywhere. Uh, this is as far as I've gotten so far. This little drawing here is our main character who is anxious at the party and then here's everyone else being friends. To be honest, I got the inspiration to write this film. It came on in the shower. Um, why am I like this by 
is it all a garland yeah by all a garland came on and i was like i'm gonna write a film about this and then straight after here by alicia Kara Kara don't know how you say her name i was like i'm gonna mash these two songs together and create a film and that is where the inspiration has come from grew up in the same neighborhood and that's out of rough salt in the wound spend a few hours on the reservoir never broke a bone so I'm gonna okay so i am so happy ideas seem to just be flowing out of my little brain and that is such a good feeling when you can't like write fast enough to get them all down i feel like i have substantial brainstorming i mean not gonna lie the brainstorming is probably going to continue but i kind of want to work on the characters now rather than the actual story um i have the main character's name um but i want to come up with like the supporting characters we are primarily going to focus on our main character um just because it's a short story can't really delve into other characters too much but yes i think i'm going to go down the route of creating a pinterest board and then yeah we'll work out from there pinterest boards are the best way for motivation for me personally Okay, so we've migrated fully to the floor, um, but I think I have finished creating my Pinterest board for um, our main character, Anna. Um, I didn't go too hard, obviously, just because it's like a short film. Basically, in the Pinterest board, I've got like what I'm picturing her to look like in my head, some of the outfits she'd wear, um, a bit about her personality, basically me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I think now I might start working on the beats of the film. <laughs> Going to work on the beat sheet of the film and then I'll probably get around to doing the treatment, maybe. Maybe not doing the treatment today, but yeah. I did end up getting distracted. I just watched When Harry Met Sally, which is one of my all-time favourite films. I love it so much it makes me cry every time um but i think i'm going to end the vlog here if you have enjoyed this kind of vlog a little writing vlog um let me know because i feel like it'd be a cool series to do as i continue with writing this short film i hope you have all enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all very soon with another video Bye.